Hi, I'm Johan Wadston. I'm the product manager for the Ovation Media Server and Sequencer. I'm here today showing the Ovation product uh, in conjunction with the video server called Watchout. Uh, we're really excited about the Synchro because what it does is gives us the opportunity to really give an interactive audio element to uh, what was purely video production before. Um, when we get the synchronization back over uh, standard IP networks, we're able to synchronize multiple large track count audio timelines uh, to various video bits of information that are flying around the screens. Um, once we've got the synchro back, these large track count timelines can be edited and manipulated to play out via hundreds of potential audio outputs. Um, that's all well and good, and, and we, can, we can absolutely stop there where we've got the ability to do this uh, in a playback scenario. But the ability for us then to take that information and push it through an internal mix engine really adds another, another level to it. Because then what we can do is dynamically change that audio information in real time due to interactive inputs from the outside world. So I've got a little setup here where I'm playing back some audio. It's a, in synchro to a, a little fireworks display on the screen behind me here. Um, and what I'm able to do very, very quickly is choose the environment to which I listen to it in. So I can choose a room with a bit of reverb. So now all of a sudden my same audio is coming through and I'm, I'm listening to it in a bigger chamber. But I can then change it again and choose a, an even different room. Bigger, wider, rounder, and an even bigger chamber, even more gigantic. And then back to our normal, yeah, normal usage. Um, but I can also then even move myself around. So with a reverb here, I can then move far away from the audio, remove all the direct noise, and move outside the room that the information is playing in. All in real time, all decisions being made either in an automated sense or through MIDI inputs, TCP IP command strings, whatever you want. I'll move back into the room. Now the other bit, and the reason I'm wearing the microphone, is we can deal with all this playback, but at the same time, we can deal with live inputs. So I'll go back into my dry little room, but I'm gonna turn my microphone on. So now I'm actually talking in the room with the fireworks playing. And because I'm in the same room as it, I can also then push myself into the same chamber. So as soon as I move into a new room, I go with it. So I can become part of the interactive video environment very, very simply and easy. All with touch buttons, all pre-programmable. I can even do fun things like put a little flanger on my voice and talk up and down and sound like a robot. So again, the idea here is to make the interactive environment complete. Video interactivity has been existing for a while now, the ability to move, uh, move you know, user movements around a room, these things, but the interactive audio environment, the, the ability to fully suspend this belief uh, in an AV situation really can happen now with, with the Ovation Media Server and Sequencer. So thanks very much for coming by and uh, there you go.